Welcome back, this is Part-Time Guardian. In this video, we will go over the vendor system within Destiny, as well as the XP grind system. This video will have something for novice players, as well as more advanced players, and I'll put timestamps so it'll be clear what parts are for what type of Guardian. I've also put together a handy infographic that shows you all the different sources for Bright Dust and XP in the game. I will basically put that within the comments, so look for it there. Again, if you get value out of my videos, Feel free to subscribe to the channel and get in the comments down below so we can kind of talk about what I'll be doing next. Destiny can be a very confusing game for new people. And I know for veteran players, like, no, it's not. Well, the thing is, it can be because for most of us uh, veteran players, we have grown through these, the systems as they've evolved. For new folks, there's tons of stuff all over the place. It can be very, very confusing. So I want to get a quick overview of the important vendors. We won't be going over everything. So again, I'll be a little bit more approachable. And again, as I talked earlier, if you're looking for the information on grinding, because I'm going to go over kind of the most efficient way to grind, and that can be good for not only novice, but for experienced players, I'll put it on the screen. There'll be a place in the video where you can, you can move over to that. So what are vendors? Vendors are basically the lifeblood of Destiny. They're scattered in different areas, including the tower and on planets, and they serve a variety of functions. So for the most part, every vendor does a couple things. They give out bounties for leveling up XP. Some of these also give out Bright Dust and also Loot. They give out quests for specific guns or specific achievements. They allow you to rank up within the vendor, which can give you access to additional loot drops of either weapons or armor. And in some cases, they can give you specific rolled weapons if you do typically a little bit longer quests. We'll start in the tower. There are a lot of t vendors in the tower and they can change from season to season. The primary vendors in the tower are Zavala for strikes, Shax for crucible, Banshee for weapons, and Drifter for gambit. And the reason I listen as primary is because these are the vendors who have the most bounties you can do, the most options, and they're tied into most of the other systems within Destiny. In addition to that, there's some specialty vendors, including Rahul, who will let you in decrypt engrams. There's the Postmaster, where if you're within an area and you do not pick up an item, that's where it will go. We'll go to the Postmaster. And also Eververse, and that's where you spend money. I'm sure you guys are all familiar with that. There's a couple other supplementary vendors. There's Benedict and his partner, Werner. There's Ada, Amanda, Ikora, and Hawthorne. Again, I'm not going to get in detail on those. There's also seasonal vendors. These will show up at different times uh, for the different seasons. Uh, for instance, in Season of Dying, Ikora did some stuff for Season of Dying. In Season of Dawn, Osiris and, and the Obelisk. Again, it's going to change season to season. For special events, and these happen typically annually, like uh, the Dawning or the Halloween event. Again, there's a number of those events. Typically, that's Eva who will pass out things, but it can vary. And then the Iron Banner happens several times during a season, and that's Lord Saladin. For planetary vendors, each of the planets have a vendor. And again, those vendors are not as useful as the ones in the tower, again, for XP and other things. But typically, you can level up planetary materials, which can give you additional uh, drops. There's also some bounties and quests you can get from them. And those are Sloan on Titan, Anna on Mars, Asher on Io, Brother Vance on Mercury, Devon K on Earth, Failsafe on Nessus, Petra in the Dreaming City, and Spider on the Tangled Shore. There's also for Shadow Keep, Eris on the Moon, which Eris actually can give you more valuable things and has more things than the other planetary to uh, people, and then the Lectern on the Moon also. So that gives you a quick overview of who the vendors are within Destiny. So what about XP and Bright Dust gain? How can you get those things the quickest? Well, the most important thing you can do in, in Destiny, again, now that you understand the vendors, is always do bounties. Doesn't matter. Go to the grocery store, do bounties. If you go down standing and get a snack from the fridge, do bounties. If you're taking your car in for car wash, do bounties. Seriously, do bounties. And then after, obviously, you got the message about bounties, do the most efficient as possible. What do I mean by that? When you're picking up bounties, first off, you're always going to want to start out by doing the weekly bounties where you can. The weekly bounties from the vendors that I talked about earlier, the primary vendors, they not only give you additional XP, but they also give you Bright Dust. So that's something you're going to want to try to do every week. And if you have three characters, you can do that on all three characters. Again, 
Again, it just depends on what you want to do. But while you're doing that, pick up complimentary bounties that are daily from the different vendors. So for instance, if you have a, a bounty that says you get void kills, then you have another bounty from another vendor that says you get pulse rifle kills. Well, if you do pick a void pulse rifle, you can get through those things. So that's something to pay attention to. It does require a little bit of planning. And that's the thing about Destiny. You do need to think through it. You don't have to. You can play in whatever way you want to, but if you want to maximize your time, again, if you're a part-time guardian like me, this is the way you do it to get max XP. So that gives you an idea. Always be doing bounties. So outside of that, as you're upgrading your seasonal patch, you'll get XP upgrades within that too. So try to do that. Try to get that upgraded because that will grant you, on top of the bounties when you're turning them in, that will give you additional XP updates. On top of that, if you have a ghost shell with guiding light, that adds another 10 XP to your your bounties as you're turning them in. So again, that's that's a very valuable thing to do. One other trick I found early in seasons, again, if you're early in the season, is as you're trying to update your seasonal pass, because the faster you upgrade your seasonal pass, the more XP bonuses you get. If you get into a fire team of people who are turning in bounties, so let's say you hoarded a bounty from the year before and you're leveling up, as you guys do that, and as they start getting their XP bonuses, it'll act as a multiplier for everyone in the party. Again, that's typically something you just do at the beginning of the season. Uh, you could try to really min-max and do that every time you turn in bounties, but that's probably a little bit of overkill. So again, really key things to remember here is that as you're doing bounties and do bounties all the time, every time you, you come into the game, you should be getting bounties or you're wasting your time, um, is to make sure you're bundling your bounties and then doing your weeklies. Because with the weeklies that you have that you can basically do with Zavala, Shax, Banshee, and Drifter... You can not only get those extra XP bonuses from doing the weeklies, but you can also get Bright Dust. And again, that's the only way to get Bright Dust in the game now. So that's the video, guys. As a reminder, look in the comments, and I put an infographic that'll be really useful if you need a quick refresher on the best places to get grinding sources within Destiny 2. I really appreciate you guys checking the video out. And again, if you're interested in this video or other videos, feel free to subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out. And I'll see you guardians in the tower.